because we have access to a plethora of information and research studies, 24,700 studies to be exact, uh, that you can find on pubmed.gov, which is where physicians, men and women who practice medicine go to keep abreast of their peer review journal articles. So uh, Kelly can share that website with you along with echoconnection.org. And that is the source for me. I'm a science geek, so I wanted to make sure that there was a, a great deal of information to validate uh, this uh, product in particular. And so uh, when I was uh, just uh, was exposed to this, I didn't know the difference between marijuana and hemp. I thought it was all weed, to be honest with you. And uh, so here on the left is a pictorial representation of what hemp looks like. Notice it grows tall like bamboo, and it's a cane-type plant. The good news is that it takes all uh, toxins out of the soil. The bad news is if there's toxins in the soil, the hemp will remove those toxins in the soil, and that becomes an integral part of the plant. It's grown mostly for industrial reasons. There are 55,000 usages for hemp. Uh, everything you can make out of plastic, you can make out of hemp. Uh, you can make cars out of hemp. In Canada right now, BMW is making automobiles, uh, bodies uh, made out of hemp. They're four times stronger than steel. Uh, and um, they're making houses out of hempcrete, adobe-style houses in California that will not burn. So hemp, industrial hemp on the left is that. And it also has high concentrations of CBD, which has a profound impact on health and well-being. On the right, the sister plant, of cannabis is marijuana. Marijuana is about waist high, it's short and bushy, and it's grown particularly for its psychoactive components of THC, tetrahydrocannabinoid. And uh, on the left, uh, people in the 60s um, tried to smoke hemp, and in the 60s it became what's known as the hippie's disappointment because nobody got high on it. <laughs> on the right, uh, that's the purpose of marijuana is to uh, uh, change your psychological state. Uh, the history of hemp is fascinating in that it's a 9,000 year old, uh, was uh, discovered in Turkey, and uh, also uh, the Iceman found in northern Italy. For the first year, they went through and checked out the DNA of the tissue that was remaining, etc. And after the first 12 months, they began to look at what was in this uh, Iceman's pack. And when they opened it up, there was a, a pack of a wad of hashish as big around as a baseball. So this is not a new situation. Uh, European settlers arrived in the 1600s bringing European hemp with them because you can make clothing out of hemp. Sails from sailing ships were made. The canvas um, comes from the word cannabis, uh, which is a hemp type product. and was a stable crop in American agriculture and our founding fathers grew it, and actually you could pay your taxes with hemp. And as late as the 1930s, it was used, that was part of the American Pharmacopeia, which means it was the foundation for most medicines. And when you find out why uh, in a minute, you'll understand the rationale for including hemp in, as a foundation for many medicines. It then became vilified by Randolph Hearst in California, who was in the paper business. And when he found out that you could uh, extract pulp from hemp, which grew uh, 15, 20 feet tall, three times in one growing season versus how long it took 20 years, 30 years for his trees to grow in order to harvest the pulp for paper. He then began to vilify hemp along with the <coughs> DuPont family and they were in the clothing business and uh, they created a pop culture film called Reefer Madness and it vilified the plant and made everybody concerned that it was the, uh, the beginning of becoming a druggie. And so they did a wonderful job with the lobbyists in those days. And now, of course, uh, after you do your research and understand the value of this plant, you'll recognize uh, the challenge. Uh, right here, we're going to skip this. This is a video that um, we can show you uh, later, can be shown by uh, Kelly later. It's uh, by Dr. Stuart Titus. And the problem is, is, is it possible that we suffer from an endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome? Well, let me give you a 50 cent word here. The endogenous cannabinoid system is a system that's found in the human body. In green, you'll see the CB1 receptors found in the cerebral cortex and the central nervous system. And this chemical system has CB2 receptors that are found in the body viscera, in the spleen, the pancreas, and on surfaces of white blood cells. As recently as 12 weeks ago, CB3 receptors have been found 
and they're found on the surfaces of cancer cells. So when you feed this chemical system, it creates a homeostasis or a balance in the body, and it balances all other 12 systems in the body, the skeletal system, the neurologic system, the circulatory system, the digestive system, uh, et cetera. And when you don't feed this system, um, you suffer from an endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome. It so happens, when I was growing up, you didn't hear about a lot of children with autism. When I was growing up, I'm 75 years old. When I was growing up, one in 20 persons got cancer. Today, it's one in three. And according to the World Health Organization, by the beginning of next year, it'll be one in two. So something's not right. And what's not right, as you'll find, is that some research that was done in Israel proved that feeding the endocannabinoid system is very important. So our these receptors are calibrated to feed the plant-based diet, and the deficiency in this ECS is called the endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome. Here's the doctor I was referring to from Israel, Dr. Raphael Meshulam, who almost 30 years discovered the human endocannabinoid system. This was funded with U.S. dollars, and the purpose of this funding and research was to determine what effect cannabis has on cancer. And these are the three things that they found. Number one, it causes apoptosis of the cancer cell, which is death of the cancer cell. Number two, it causes reduction in angiogenesis, which brings blood supply and oxygen to the tumor. And number three, what they found was it causes the tumor cells to be unable to replicate. Ladies and gentlemen, that was 29 years ago. That's Yet here in our country, all my kids, my kids are MDs, they went to Jefferson, we're still doing the cut it off, cut it out, burn it off, drug it thing. And I say that with all due respect. I know there are healthcare professionals in the room, and I say that with love. You know as well as I do about what's going on, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just saying, I said to my son, John, I'm not saying what you're doing is incorrect, but I'm saying please look at what Andrew Wild did, by the way, from Philadelphia, the father of integrative medicine, when he discovered what profound impact plants have on the health and well-being of the human condition. Uh, this is Dr. David Allen. He's a heart surgeon. And I quote from a video, the discovery of the endocannabinoid system is the single most important medical scientific discovery ever. I'll repeat that. The single most important scientific discovery ever and will save more lives than discovery and application of all future sterile surgical procedures. And he said, I'm a heart surgeon telling you that because a heart surgeon do a lot of bypass surgery. A lot of bypass surgery is not from the cholesterol, it's from the inflammation of the stratum inta, which is the lining of the coronary arteries. For you healthcare professionals in there, you know this. And uh, when it's inflamed, where does the inflammation come from? Sugar, high fat diet, um, standard American lack of activity, uh, gluten, etc. And so if this is your coronary artery, your anterior descending coronary artery, which is called the widow maker, uh, if there's plaque on the inside here, if there's inflammation there, the, the cholesterol goes to patch it over. That's just God's design to patch over the inflammation. Well, as the continuation of the inflammation supersedes, it continues to patch over until the lumen of the vessel gets smaller and smaller, and it patches it over and over and over until one day it occludes the vessel, coronary occlusion, and that's a heart attack. A stroke is a heart attack basically of the brain. Cancer cells love an acid pH. The three main killers of people in the United States today are a result of the inflammatory process. The most potent anti-inflammatory in the face of the earth are phytocannabinoids. This is a U.S. patent. Remember this number, by the way. Kelly has these slides, and I will forward these to anybody because we're going to go through these quickly. You won't be able to take notes, but I'll give them to you because our goal for Karen and me is to make you more aware of what it takes to live a longer, healthier life. Certainly, one of the three biggies is stem cell research, lengthening your telomeres, which are the caps on your chromosomes, and feeding your human endocannabinoid system. So here's the U.S. government patent, 630507. Look at paragraph number three there. Cannabinoids are useful in the treatment of a wide range of oxidative conditions such as ischemia, age-related inflammatory, and autoimmune disease. And that's why I was so uh, emphatic about fighting inflammation. Uh, hemp, hemp is the most potent anti-inflammatory on the face of the planet. 
And look at the others, like Alzheimer's. This is in the U.S. patent, Parkinson's, CTE, which are concussions. If I had kids, again, that were playing high school football or college ball, again, there's no question in my mind that they would be taking phytocannabinoids to give themselves a second helmet to fight off the ravages of CTE. So um, CBD are particularly advantageous to avoid anxiety related issues. How many times do you, today do you hear about the kids in high school are so, uh, so much stress and so much anxiety, et cetera, et cetera. Well, there's the U.S. patent. And by the way, the Canaway Corporation has a direct access to this patent. Uh, Canaway uh, is a subsidiary of Medical Marijuana Inc. That is the parent company is publicly traded under the sign MJNA. There are different subsidiaries of Medical Marijuana Inc. The first one up in the top right is Hemp Meds Brazil. Uh, that's a, a, a clue for you to let you know that 11 countries sell our real scientific hemp oil, the foundation for the Canaway products, as medicine. And um, uh, there's some great stories about that. We've been on the doctor's show, Dr. Oz's show, uh, Reuters. Uh, we've, been, uh, we've had testimonials in front of the World Health Organization in Switzerland, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Canaway is the largest grower of hemp in the world. Uh, we have uh, uh, Canaway there at 4 o'clock on the clock. That is a network distribution model, and that has four different ways of earning income. Uh, bottom at 6 o'clock is Phyto Animal Health. That's another subsidiary. Every animal has an endocannabinoid system. We'll tell you about that in a second. EchoConnection.org is a 5013C a company. That is what we are, that is our mission. We supply funds to the parents of children who have horrendous medical bills, who suffer from epileptic seizures, et cetera. Currently, there are 92 families who are being totally supported by our, um, uh, we give a portion of, of what we make to ECHO, and then ECHO uh, helps uh, with those families. Axiom Biotech is a, is a research laboratory in the Netherlands with uh, carrying on research 24 seven, all day, every day. Canalife Sciences is another uh, medical marijuana ink laboratory. It is at the Salk Institute, and they have ongoing research all day, every day. The reason I brought this up to you is because I want you to know that this is not just one of these entities, this is a conglomeration. Remember, there are 50,000 usages for hemp, and uh, we're not gonna stop just with those that have a profound impact on balancing your endocannabinoid system. Canaway is the first to create a mainstream natural botanical CBD brand, the first to launch respected cannabinoid supplement and pharmaceutical line, the first to develop strict quality standards through rigorous triple lab testing, the first direct sale company to offer hemp products, the first with a license to commercialize the U.S. national patent, which I share with you as antioxidants and neuroprotections, the first to address the United Nations and the World Health Organization about CBD. Canaway is family-oriented. Uh, a lot of the uh, of children are using the Canaway products. Again, we're not talking about marijuana. We're talking about CBD. It's sustainable. Four out of five companies fail because they're undercapitalized or can't fulfill. Uh, we have a rich uh, foundation financially. It is driven by science, and the products are natural and botanical. We've, been, we've a, appeared on, uh, besides those other shows, uh, Yahoo Finance, Fortune, Business for Home, Univision, USA Today, Telemundo, etc. cetera. And Dateline, too. We want Dateline. Well. Okay. So, <clears throat> Canada has a family of products. And one of the things that separates us from, see, excuse me, there's so many people who are rushing to satisfy this need. What we are witnessing right now is the end of the prohibition of cannabis. Much bigger than the end of the prohibition of alcohol in the United States. And much better for you than the alcohol that people consume. Uh, no one has ever died using uh, CBD. No one has ever come home after they've had too much beer at the corner bar and beat their children and wives using CBD. What they will do, they'll come home and ask their wife to make a pizza 
because they'll be hungry. <laughs> yeah. But they're not going to come home violently. So Canaway families of products, which you can see some of them uh, um, outlined for you on the left, are triple lab tested. That is to say, they're tested at harvest. And these products are grown on a cultivar in Austria that has never been sprayed with pesticides and herbicides. The products are non-GMO. They meet the biodynamic standards, which are much more stringent than what we call organic here. And no self-respecting European would ever eat food that's genetically modified. It's really playing havoc with our DNA strains here in the United States. Uh, you have gender benders. That's why you have eight-year-old little boys with man boobs. I mean, it's ridiculous what's happening by genetically modifying our food. Uh, the products are on a cultivar, sprayed on a, uh, on a cultivar that's never been sprayed with pesticides and herbicides. And it is federally legal in all states of the United States because the uh, plants are grown outside of the United States. They have less than 0.325% of THC. Uh, the oils are isolated from the stalk and the seed, not the leaf and the bud. All of those things, when combined, make these products uh, federally legal in all 50 states of the United States. Uh, we have full spectrum uh, premium hemp oil capsules and oils on the, on the top left. We have samples, two in the center of this uh, slide. You can see that there are samples. People say, gee, I want a sample. Well, there's five days worth of sample in there, as well as some salve. Mm -hmm. uh, on the top right, you see a gold bottle. That gold bottle, um, can, by the way, can you see that, Kelly, or are your pictures covering it? No, yes, we so, see it. They're all there. Okay, great. So that gold bottle is a full spectrum. All 142 phytocannabinoids are there except THC. This was developed for the European market because in Europe, uh, what's allowed in Germany is 0.225 and UK less than 0.1.5%, et etc. So all the THC has been taken out. On the bottom, you see two applicators. They look this way because they're developed for kids that uh, are either epileptic or autistic who will not swallow, we're on a feeding tube. So this plunger apparatus that you see there is designed to administer the full spectrum on the left is green. There are 50 milligrams of phytocannabinoids in there along with chlorophyll, terpenoids, flavonoids, waxes. In other words, it's here, eat this plant. On the bottom right, you'll see gold, uh, which is a very highly concentrated, decarboxylated, 3,600 milligrams of phytocannabinoids. The plant waxes and things have been taken out of this. And this is used for people who have severe challenges. We do not make medical claims for those of you who are in health and wellness in the room. However, what we do tell people is we defer them to go to echoconnection.org or pubmed.gov, which is where many women go, keep abreast of their peer-reviewed journal articles. Here we have, for those people who are tested, uh, these are uh, about to be approved by the world, the WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency for military, for law enforcement, for men and women who drive school buses, and for people that uh, are tested for even the tiniest amount of THC. Anytime you see pure, pure on the labels as you see here, that means that there is zero THC in there. We have vapes, and we have some wonderful flavored for the holidays, gingerbread and so forth, CBD oils that you can put in coffee or maybe in uh, Manhattan or whatever. You know, something, something where you're celebrating uh, the holidays, you can put that in there. We have a game changer here with Canaway. We have CBD cannabidiol, which again is one of the 142 phytocannabinoids in the plants. Uh, and it is extracted from humulus, cariya, which is, which is uh, hops. There are other plants that contain CBD that include black pepper, kava, echinacea, and in this case, hops. This was developed by Dr. Bomi Joseph at The Ohio State University. And um, it is a game changer because it's the first plant ever to uh, have CBD extracted from it, isolated from it in a pure form and it contains its active compounds, it's flash distilled from the plant to capture its beneficial effects. The key thing is that this CBD is extracted from the leaf and the bud, which is the more biologically active part 
of any plant. That's where most of the life is. It's not in the stalk and the seed. The other um, isolation techniques that we use with CO2 extraction takes much more time. It's much more expensive. It's much more difficult to do. Whereas humulus, the CBD is extracted from the flower and the leaf. I'm very proud to say that Dr. Janelle Kim, who has her doctorate in Chinese herbal medicine, is one of the formulators for our Bibong formula. Bibong is the Korean word for secret. In her direct family lineage, uh, 700 years ago was Dr. Jung. Dr. Jung wrote the Domi Bokum. The Domi Bokum is the first Chinese herbal medical textbook taught in 125 medical schools around the world who teach integrative medicine. Uh, Dr. Janelle Kim's proprietary blend using the, um, the secret Bibong formula is proprietary to her, and she has relegated that and turned that over to the Kennaway Corporation. No other company in the world has this blend of herbs uh, and terpenoids and flavonoids and herbs uh, that she has blended with energy of intention when put together, uh, her Eastern philosophy and recognition of the way these formulations are conducted is not um, possessed by anyone else in the world. The Bibong blend of products includes SAB, or Solve, as my friends in Philadelphia call it, Solve. And the SAB is if you have discomfort. And if I was saying a medical term, I would say pain. But since we don't make medical claims, I say, if you're having discomfort, okay, uh, you can use this salve and it will have a profound impact. It's very uh, relieving of discomfort, uh, whether the discomfort be in your joints or your back or your neck or whether it's in your trapezius or whether it's occupation or whether it's athletic. Uh, we also have essential oils that give you energy, that calm you down and feed your immune system. My wife and I do a lot of flying and, uh, even in the front of the plane, I found out on my last flight, I said to the flight attendant, excuse me now, I said, up here in the front of the plane, the <laughs> air that we're breathing, is it a little bit more different than the people who are in the back of the plane? <laughs> she says, and mimicking me, she says, my dear sir, the <laughs> air that you're breathing was just exhaled by 75% of the plane and uh, people in the plane, and the air that you're breathing is exactly the same air that they're breathing in the last row of the aircraft. Do you have any more questions? I said, no, I don't. <laughs> and, uh, so, so my wife and I use immunity. And there are certain places where you put these essential oils. Immunity is put on the third eye, the temples, the nape of the neck, and Q, which is a special point on the, four, on the uh, wrist. And so uh, our, our company has a map as to where to place these essential oils. Or you can put them in a diffuser. If you want to calm down the area, if you work, if you work in HR, for example, you probably want to have this on your desk. <laughs> down on the desk, you know that they're going to all of a sudden calm down. Uh, also, we have uh, the skin is the largest organ of the body, and you can see on the right hand side white clay, incredible exfoliators, serums, moisturizers, etc. And in the center, we have Canactin. You know the kids that have uh, the unfortunate experience of having acne, basically. These are toxins that are in the subdermal layers for the people who are in the room, who are in the medical field. And the, below the stratum intima, or the forming of the epidermis, there in the connective tissue where the collagen is, et cetera, is where the toxins accumulate. And then they attempt to make their way out through a pore in the epidermis that's not big enough to receive all the toxins. And so it tries to force its way out and creates a pimple, acne, et cetera. And what Canactive does is it detoxifies those toxins before they attempt to make their way up through the epidermis. That's what Canactive does. Compare that to Proactive, which dries out the skin and leaves the kid uh, as an adult with a pockmark complexion because of the craters that were there because of these toxins trying to force their way out through the epidermis. This Canactive is miraculous and it's part of the B-Bong blend. Also, um, health begins in the gut. Uh, Dr. Janelle Kim talks about that. We have more nerves, cells, receptors in the gut than we have in the brain. I take every day a protein shake uh, from Canaway because it's the highest concentration of protein on the face of the planet. 
the big bodybuilders and the and men and women who do powerlifting now do not get their protein source anymore from meat. They get it from beans and lentils and hemp, highest concentration of protein on the face of the planet. Uh, I also combine that with the Canaway greens, which have super greens, antioxidants, probiotics, all these things combining that you can see on the left, fiber blend, make for a healthier gut. And that's where a lot of our health begins. A healthier you begins in your gut. And so in the morning, for example, I have power protein shake with fresh fruit, with greens, and with hemp milk or almond milk. I don't do dairy because dairy makes me clog up. So uh, that's the deal there. So these are Canaway food products as well. And here, as I mentioned, every animal on the face of the planet down to Joe, control yourself. Every animal down on the face of the planet has a, a uh, endocannabinoid system. I was laughing at Joe because he was giving Deb a big schmutz and he didn't think I could see him. He was sneaking on in. Anyway, so here's the deal. Every animal has an endocannabinoid system. Another person. Uh, oh, oh, horses. Thanks, honey. Do we have to horses, take dogs, cats, dolphins, everything. And interestingly enough, uh, a horse requires less than a human yes. because their metabolic rate is slower. You know the animal that requires the most? A bird, because the bird's metabolism is so fast, they use up the phytocannabinoids. Uh, I, I think that you would do, for you that have pet animals, dogs and cats and so forth, uh, you would do them well to give them Dante's chews. We have Dante's oils also for pets. and. Uh, a Dante Chu toy, which has uh, antibiotics, antiseptics in it, so it never smells. And uh, it promotes fiber in the gut, and the dogs love it. Um, Kenoy also has Hempy's clothing. Um, remember I said there are 50,000 usages for hemp, and here's some clues for you. You know, wallets, hats, jeans, yoga pants, T-shirts, and it goes on and on. If you look right now in the back office, you can see uh, toiletry carriers and all kinds of things that Hempy's has. Mm -hmm. The scarves are terrific. It's very soft and very long lasting. Remember, this is what the DuPonts were not happy about. Uh, mm -hmm. the clothing that wouldn't wear out. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, on the bottom there, the man holding the root of cannabis is Dr. Stuart Titus. He's the president and CEO of Medical Marijuana Inc. He is the world's foremost authority for the human endocannabinoid system. Many of us have already met Stuart. Karen and I call Stuart our, one of our closest friends right now. We have direct connections to him. I just answered a question today for somebody with pandas with Dr. Titus. And um, we have Canaway Sports also. Many professional athletes, men and women, uh, are addicted to opiates because of the pain. Uh, here's Nick Lowry, and we also have uh, people like Christian Okoye who had the NFL football rushing record. We have gold medal Olympic winners. We have Goose Gossage, who was a pitcher for New York baseball team, and they won the World Series, etc. All these people hurt. And so now Canaway Sports is helping them a lot. And on the left is uh, Sadie Huguera. Did I tell this story, Kelly? Yeah. yeah. Yes, please. Earlier? Yes, okay. you can. So that's Sadie. And on the right are the Fisher children. And this is the person that if you go on to YouTube, you can see a video called Illegal. And you have to read the subtitles because it's in Portuguese. But this is the little girl whose life was saved. And as a result of that court case, they changed the laws in Brazil. And now Echo is, uh, is uh, there are 5,000 children in Brazil who are no longer seizing and taking the Canaway products. So, um, I will go through this quickly, Kelly, with your permission. Sure. Um, we, just... As I mentioned earlier, we are at the right place at the right time. Our products have been featured on the doctors and Oscars, the Newsweek special, etc. <clears throat> you can see all the places there. Within the next five years, this industry is expected to out-earn the U.S. film industry. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. It's grown. It's a grown business. I've been talking all day. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, the organic food industry and more than triple the revenues of the NFL. 
Uh, the industry of network distribution pays out $200 million a day in global commissions. And that's why Richard Branson has recently said that entrepreneurism has been taken away from the U.S. public. But the people are founding fathers that came to the United States, particularly in the Philadelphia area, the seat of the American, um, of the American country of America. Um, those people came and they, op they were entrepreneurs. They opened up a little shoe repair store. They had a grocery store. They were farmers. You know what I mean? They were mechanics. They had their own businesses. And then something happened. And some big brother said, come over here, little girl, and work for me. <laughs> and we took away the American public's ability to earn. And we put a cap on their ability to earn called a salary. When you're an entrepreneur, you're an entrepreneur the cap comes off your ability to earn. And that's why this opportunity is important. The compensation plan. Um, <clears throat> everybody says that have been in network distribution that they have the best compensation plan. That's simply not true. I'm a student of compensation plans. And there are three things here with Canaway where you are compensated that I've never seen before. The first one is they have a stock incentive program. Karen and I just earned 100,000 shares of Medical Marijuana Inc. as national directors. We'll be international directors in another two and a half months and we'll get another 200,000 shares and so forth. Uh, Crown Ambassador, when you reach the top, which you can do in about three years, if you work hard and you have intelligent upline mm -hmm. to help you out, uh, we'll get you there. And uh, you have to put in the work though. Uh, those people that reach the top are making about a million dollars a year in income. Uh, you will meet uh, Valerie Alessio, will be coming to Philadelphia on the 26th of January, and I'll be coming there uh, Next week, 17th, 18th, 19th, I think, with uh, Joe and Deb somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to be, but I'm going to be somewhere in Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, so, media Pennsylvania, too. So, uh, media Pennsylvania. There's a minimum income guarantee, too, when you reach certain levels. But to get started, it's $54.98 a year. And then you purchase some uh, products that uh, make sense to you. And then you, the, you get with Kelly and the other people that are there, and they help you to do what you need to do. And uh, this is just to help three other people to do the same. These are the costs of the value packs. They begin at $249 and uh, you can see what's in them and they go up to $1,899. And that's all products uh, that Canaway has. If you wanna start as a customer, what you, we recommend that you do is to get one of the small packs and don't become a brand ambassador, just become a preferred customer and experience the product. It's the best bang for your buck. If you, you decide just, you want to do this as a business, then you purchase one, either the $699, um, $999, or the $1899. Why? Because, as you know, you can't sell dresses off an empty rack. You have to have products to try for yourself so people can say, hey, Kelly, what does that green stuff taste like? <laughs> and Kelly says, well, I'm not sure, but here's a picture. <laughs> that dog won't hunt, will it? And again, I say this with love to people who want to do this as a business. If you just want to learn about it, which a lot of you are tonight, well, I'm grateful for that. Again, if you want to, the proof is in the eating of the pudding. So make sure you get with Kelly and she'll uh, get to you. Uh, you can order some, some sample packs, uh, et cetera, whatever, starter packs, whatever you want to do. If you want to do this as a business, we have to have a, a different conversation. So that's it. Every day, remember this. Think about this. This will, this will, uh, Get to your heart and your gut later. Every day when we're in conversation with other people, we say, hey, Kelly, how you doing? And Kelly says, well, I'm doing well, but you know, mom is starting to forget what day it is. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? Well, I'm okay, but you know what? My nephew was just in Iraq and Afghanistan and he's got PTSD. I say, oh, really? Hey, Kelly, how you doing? Well, I'm okay, but you know what? One of the children has like a really bad... Um, uh, strain in their knee that they hurt while they were skateboarding or whatever. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? Well, I'm okay, but you know what? Bob's got diabetes. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? Well, I'm all right, but you know what? Aunt Margaret's got uh, Parkinson's disease. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? Well, I'm okay. I'm okay, but you see, all we have to do is caring people with the people that we love on the speck of dust spinning through the cosmos that Jacques Cousteau calls Planet Ocean is say to them with love, especially in this holiday season and every month should be holiday season. Hey, how are you doing from your heart? How are you doing? And when they share with you, maybe they got their third kid ready to go to college. I don't know where I'm going to get the money. Well, we should have a talk. Okay. 
all of those things, whether they're hurting financially or physically, every day, if you listen, you can make a difference in the lives of so many people. And I welcome you to come alongside us and join this global movement to make a difference with kids that are going through grand mal seizures, to make a difference with people who can't remember what day it is, to make a difference with people who have been on pain medications for 10, 15 years who are athletes, make a difference in the world.